dirty jobs right here. But, so what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna start making some wax dirt. Wax dirt, what it does is it doesn't collect moisture. So when it gets freezing cold outside, your, your soil's a little wet. Where your trap is, it's not frozen solid. So uh, pretty much you can leave your sets out <coughs> a lot longer than you can with just normal dirt. And uh, this is what I'm doing right here. <laughs> My redneck ingenuity here. We got us a good old propane torch lighter. She comes onto this uh, concrete mix. I went to an old uh, went to an old barn today. Dug up uh, probably six five gallon buckets full of dirt. Sifted it all. Got all the big dirt pods and everything out of it. Put it in there. And then I went down there to the old Hobby Lobby. Bought me some of that uh, paraffin wax beads. I just started slightly dumping them in there for a little bit. We'll see what happens. I'll tell you one thing. A trapper has never made wax dirt when he didn't try. So we're giving her a shot because we're fixing the traps and crap, man. Well, I'm very happy with the way this wax dirt's turning out so far. You know, I'm going to put this on here because I was scrambling like crazy trying to find what kind of wax to make wax dirt out of there's all kinds of forms out there this is what i used went down to hobby lobby store got me some paraffin wax beads i don't know if you can see what they look like but they're just like little flakes or little pellets of wax so then i put me my torch on that as you seen the other night and uh so here's a fresh batch i just made all right, so got done with a fresh basket. Took him some wax dirt. Wax dirt, what is that, everybody asks. Got a lot of buddies wondering why the heck I'm mixing wax and dirt and cooking all this kind of thing in a concrete mixer in my shop. But there is a explanation to it. Now I'm about to explain it. Here. Oh. Empty this sucker out from the shop floor. All right, first thing, you get your wax dirt out from the cooking, you want to make sure you spread it out. Because it's you know, wet, moist, and wax. You don't want it. I let that stuff clump up because that wax will like, the, like that little ball right there. Like to clump up in the ball. And you can buy wax dirt online. This is just like quick. If you really got the money, but you're still going to have to spend money on wax. I think this wax I bought from Hobby Lobby. $13 a package, and I got four packages, so not good at math, whatever that comes out to be, that's what I got, and then the rest of it's just back breaking, shoveling work, getting some dry dirt. All right, so the whole purpose of wax dirt here, I'm going uh, to explain this the best way I know how. So when you're trapping, you know, you cover your trap in dirt. Well, the, anybody that lives here in southeast Missouri knows what kind of weather we get. You know, it may be like right now, it's Christmas Eve. It's 60 degrees. It's hot. Next week, it may be down in the teens and be rainy, snowy. You get all that moisture in there. <laughs> and when moisture gets sucked into dirt, what does it do? Automatically, it freezes into a hard shell. So you want an animal to step on a pan. When you got a brick laying on top of that pan, a coyote or a fox can just step right on there and it, it won't let your trap come up and catch them. So I'll show you a little kind of a example of what wax dirt does. Here on this table right here, we got dry dirt that has no wax in it at all. And then we got wax dirt right here. You. you gonna help me, Boo Boo? Okay. You, hey, don't blow that. <laughs> All right, so wax dirt, dry dirt. I'm gonna dump a little water in and just see if you can see the difference. Thanks. 
All right, here comes the wax dirt. Look how it repels that water. All right, so I poured quite a bit on there. So now I'm gonna mix this up. Me too. This, hold on, baby. You wanna mix that one up? Mm -hmm. All right. So when you mix dirt that has no wax in it, you get mud. Look what she's doing. She's playing around in it. And you still got, it's in water, but it's not soaking in the water up. So that allows your trap to sit out in any kind of condition that the weather will throw for longer. And uh, I mean, it just makes you a more efficient trapper because the more you don't have to worry about resetting your traps, the more you got time to set more and just worry about life things like having a kid, having a wife, living life. So there's the reason why I put wax and dirt. Had a lot of buddies asking me on my Snapchats. Why the heck are you putting all that dirt in that concrete mixer? So hopefully this explains something. And uh, hopefully it works this year. I got me a 55 gallon barrel full of good old sifted wax dirt. Plus what I just got done with. So I'm hoping, Brian, we're gonna get some critters caught this year. So stay wild and hopefully this kind of explain something in the trapping world to you. So stay wild and we'll see you later. Whammo.